Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at a stampabove.com coming to you live from a very dreary looking Menasha, Wisconsin tonight. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Labor Day weekend. I'm going to get myself set up here on my laptop so I can see all of your comments. And Facebook recently did an upgrade. Did you guys notice that? I don't know if you can call it an upgrade or not, but what I don't like about it is now it's like you feel like you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Anybody else in that boat? <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Hi, Linda. Welcome. I'm happy to see all you guys popping in. Seal is here and Anne. And let me see if I can get this Facebook thing working properly. I've had a few little hiccups with Facebook lately not allowing me to post. So that's been kind of frustrating. And am I even on the right page? Because I don't see my live here any place. <laughs> so, I don't know. Yeah, well, we knew this wouldn't go off without some hiccups, didn't we? Let's see if I can open up a new Facebook. Hi, Diane. Hi, Karen. Oh, I see all the love coming in. Another Karen, Ellen, or Sue. I'm sorry, Sue Eileen. Jody's here. Hi, Jody. I'm happy to be back. I have to tell you, it has been a long haul. There is no doubt about that. There I am. Wow, that took a long time to find. So let me get myself up on the screen. There we are. We can see all the comments coming in. Holy cow. Hi, Rose. Hi, Carol. Welcome. Kathy's on. Hi, Kathy. I'm happy to see you tonight. Wendy's here. Oh, thank you guys so much. So, <laughs> it has been a rough several weeks. I am not going to lie. Um, I am feeling better. I am not 100%. I am still a little weak. And, you know, with that, you get drained really quickly. So, today, after I got the projects ready for tonight and cleaned my disaster of an office, right? It was holy moly, it was horrible. Then I went and took a nap. So, just know that I am taking good care of myself. I am taking this whole thing seriously and uh, taking baby steps. Well, when I tell you what I did the last couple of days, you'll probably think I'm crazy, but whatever. <laughs> I'm a little bit crazy. We all know that, right? <laughs> So, um, I did have COVID, and what I can tell you about that is I have been sicker, um, but I've never been sick this long, ever. Like, I literally was in bed for two and a half weeks down, and um, it just really was fatiguing. I was just so tired and felt crummy with the headache and the eyes hurt and just a touch of a sore throat not bad body aches chills fever um yeah and I see some of you coming on here who had asked me and said that you also had COVID and um our family got it at a funeral and it pretty much spread like wildfire just like it's supposed to right and uh, thank goodness Haley and Val did not have it, or Jared. They did not, they did not get it. Um, but yeah, we quarantined for like three weeks now. So we're pretty much good to go. I got to see Val today for the first time. And Haley brought her over, and we all sat outside, and I stayed away from her. <laughs> but I got to, you know, do the grandma things. I was like, Granny, like, do, 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 and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> She loved it. So she was all smiles for me today. I was so happy to see her. Um, I see some people popping in. Where did I get it? We got our COVID at a funeral. So we lost a very um, close extended family member uh, three weeks ago about. And so we, we attended a funeral and that's kind of where everybody picked it up. But um, we're all better now. And um, I am taking it slow, taking care of myself. So, yay! <laughs> okay. Oh, and I have to tell you a funny little thing. Steve just let me know this, like I think yesterday, that while I was down and out, he, um, he said he did come upstairs to check on me frequently 
I lived in the upstairs. He lived on the main floor. We have separate bathrooms. And then when I came into the kitchen to eat something, we used separate towels. So we were pretty careful about trying to, you know, keep the cooties at bay or at least keep them with me and not him. He felt um, a little crummy here and there, but he never got knocked down like I did. So, um, you know, he didn't get tested, whether he had COVID or not, who knows, but he did um, quarantine for the same amount of time. So that worked out, I mean, pretty good, I guess, right? But anyways, he told me that while I was upstairs in my, you know, I don't want to say comatose because I wasn't comatose and I felt like it. Um, he told me he came up and measured me just in case he needed to get a coffin. He wanted to make sure he knew what size. Who said that? <laughs> he was just kidding, of course. He was pretty scared. Um, so I see lots of people asking a bunch of questions again. Like, I don't want to keep saying this over and over. I'm going to say it one more time. I had COVID. I got it at a funeral. I did get tested. I was positive. I actually took a ride to the ER in an ambulance because I blacked out a couple times. Um, the first, second day I was sick. And that really scared Steve. And he called an ambulance. And I felt really bad for him because I just really didn't think that was necessary. But then my daughter yelled at me and said, anytime you black, off or, uh, black out or you lose consciousness, you should be going to the hospital. And I'm like, well, whatever. I felt like I didn't need to go to the hospital. So I took a ride in an ambulance. They're horrible, just for the record. Um, the ambulance attendants were wonderful, but the ride to the hospital was like riding on a hay wagon. It was horrible. What? I don't understand why they don't have shocks. Like, who doesn't put shocks in an ambulance? And as I was going there, I'm thinking, gosh, I'm glad that I don't have like a broken limb or something because this would really be painful. So anyways, um, went to the ER. They gave me an IV of, you know, whatever. I'm so not medical fluid and that took my headache away. So that was kind of nice. Um, my doctor was good looking, not going to lie. <laughs> Just making the most out of a crummy situation. But one of the funny things that they did to me was as soon as my test came back positive, um, they left me lay there for a little while longer, and then they came in and had, um, they called Steve and told Steve he could come and pick me up, and they escorted me out of my ER room, through a back janitor's closet, out a back door, into the parking lot, literally set me on the curb, the cement curb, and left. And I sat there by myself waiting for my husband to come and pick me up. <laughs> Can you believe that? Like I was like literally felt like a leper. I know what a leper feels like. No, I don't. But I mean, it was pretty creepy, right? Like, yeah, it was, it was very strange. So anyways, I don't know if they're like really freaked out that they had a COVID positive patient in their ER. I don't know. But anyways, that was one of the interesting little things that happened. And then um, somebody just asked me about my bedroom remodel. And that stopped in its tracks, of course, as soon as... <laughs> Jenny just said, I hope your legs were shaved. <laughs> they were. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> there was no... The lady with the hairy legs in room 243. You guys remember that one? No, my legs were shaved. They're not now. <laughs> they were then. So um, anyways, my bedroom remodel completely stopped when all this went down, of course. And um, I talked to Fred. He's my bedroom remodeler. And he is coming back on Wednesday. So all he needs to do is the final touches, put my flooring in. He put all the shiplap up on the ceiling and painted that. The closet is built and ready for all the closety things, you know, like the, I don't know what you, the organizational part where you put all the things in the closet so that it's now like got shelves and drawers and racks and all those things. So we have to go and pick that out. <laughs> Judy, I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> um, so yeah, my bedroom remodel is coming along. 
And what else did I do? Um, in the last two days, not today, but Friday and Saturday, I put 100 card kits out of here. So, like I said, Thursday, I started feeling human again. And Friday, I was back to work. And um, we'll talk about the kits in just a little bit because I do have some left. And, um, oh, and then, today's Sunday, yesterday... Steve and I went and looked at new vehicles. And so he decided that he wants to get rid of the Subaru. He wants something that's just got a little bit more room in it. And he was kind of pushing towards maybe a Ford Edge. And I'm like, oh, dude, if you're going to get rid of the Subaru, why not let's get something that is worthwhile? <laughs> and I said, let's get an Explorer because I like trucks. They sit up higher. You can see better. I don't like cars. I don't like sitting down like this. I like being up high where I can see and I've always had four wheel drives. So Saturday we went car shopping and guess who's getting a new Explorer? Boom! I am on Tuesday and then he's taking it to Michigan on a um, golf trip. <laughs> So I don't even get to drive it. But I'm super excited. And um, it's been a long time coming. You know, I gave my truck away, I don't know, last spring in March, maybe. I gave it to my sister. So I don't even have a vehicle anymore. So I'm excited about that. We have exciting things happening around here. Um, what else do I have for you guys? Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my kits. Oh, this isn't it. Wrong bin. Sorry. This is the bin. So, um, with the new catalog that came out in June, I started making a few more kits than what I have ordered. Oh, and Marcy said she loves her Explorer. I know. I'm really excited about this. We rented an Explorer last year. Last year over Memorial Day weekend, we flew out to Denver yeah, Denver, and we rented a, a Ford Explorer and drove all around the Yellowstone and the Wyoming and the whole deal, and we really liked it, so I'm super excited about it. It's got all the bells and whistles, but the only thing that I really required was the heated seats. I didn't care about the rest of it, but it has the mirrors that when you shut it off, the mirrors go like that. <laughs> I know, pretty exciting. I've never had anything this nice in my life. So, I'm pretty thrilled about that. Back to kits. So, with the new catalog in June, because we have a whole year, right, for this catalog to last, I made, I started making extra kits. So, I want to let you guys know what I have that's extra. Um, I have a few of the pre-cut cardstock packs left for the Artistry Blooms online class. Now, with the online classes, you need to have the designer series paper and the items that are listed in my class and you get this pre-cut cardstock pack and this is nine different cards so it's pretty cool so we've got artistry blooms online class gilded autumn is my newest one that I just released they are going out in the mail tomorrow they're all labeled and ready to go if you already ordered these but um, I have some extra packs made up and then I made 20 more of the Celebrate Sunflowers. This was such a popular class that um, I have about probably about 15 of these left now. The Celebrate Sunflowers online class. And then let's take a look-see here. Um, I've got two kits. The So Much Happy Kit class. Now this comes with designer paper, some embellishments, and ribbon. So this is a whole kit. The So Much Happy. This is really fun. And then the Love of Leaves kit is my newest one that I just got out of here last week. And that one comes with the Gilded Autumn Designer Series paper. The um, uh, Thing of Linen Thread. The Acorn Trinkets. And also the um, ribbon that is part of the Gilded Edge suite. Now the ribbon is on back order until the 21st, but I'm just mailing the kits out and I'll mail the um, ribbon as it becomes available. Last but not least, here I have the Holiday Catalog DSP samplers. And this is what the kit looks like. You get um, 
samplers of all of the designer paper. Well, it's listed on my blog. Um, I don't have like the brushed cardstock in there or the velvet paper because there's like only one color and stuff like that. But you get all of these sheets printed up, all of the little kits with the punch circles and the coordinating cardstock colors. And it's called a Holiday DSP Sampler. And then let me put these away because there's a lot of bits and pieces for this. They are, they're $30. And I'll show you what they are. Hang on. So tonight we're going to be using the plaid tidings designer series paper. And this is what the DSP sampler looks like once you put your kit together. So this is just one sheet and there's 12 different samplers in there. And what I like to do with these is I like to keep them in the back of my designer series paper pack. For example, here's the ornate garden. I would have my thing in the back of here so that I don't have to open this up every time and look at what's in there. I can just look at this sheet and know exactly what I've got in here. If I'm looking for a specific color or print, a small print or a big print or whatever. It's just really helpful. It's been very helpful in my business because I can show this to you guys. But I also use it just as a stamper, not a demonstrator. Don't wiggle the table, okay? <laughs> I have Molly here tonight with me. <laughs> she's going to show you some cards, and she's pretty excited about that. Um, so that's what the DSP sampler is all about. And if anybody would like to get your hands on any of these kits or online classes, I will post a link to my blog where all the online classes are listed, okay? So it'll make it really easy for you to go look and see what I have available. Did I say, um, what was the other one? The Artistry Blooms. Did I have that in here? I don't think. Oh, yeah, Artistry Blooms. That's one of my favorites. Um, love that one. So, anyways, what else is going on? I think... I am going to be ready to flip the camera around and show you our discount shopper kit promotion for September. And then we're going to start stamping. Don't forget, leave a comment if you're new to me because the comment will get you entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. Also entering you in a drawing is if you share this video and you can click right now on a share button that's right under this video as you're watching it and share it to your timeline. That really helps me grow my business and I so appreciate that. The other way that you can get entered for a drawing is when you place an order with me. So comment, share, and order. Three different ways each one gets you into a drawing. And before we go any further, we are going to award our prizes from last time I was live, which I got sick on August 22nd, so it's been before then is the last time I was live. Holy cow, that like seems like forever ago. I have missed you guys so much. And I just want to say thank you so much for all your get well wishes, um, your comments, your worrying about me. I felt the love, and I think it helped me. To get through this a little easier knowing that I had so many people pulling for me your prayers your thoughts your virtual hugs so Debbie says how did you get all that done well Debbie I just did two two kit a kit and an online class that I got packaged up and in the mail I did 60 of my um, kit on Friday and on Saturday I did 40 of my other online class and so how did I do it? Well, everybody else goes to work, right? <laughs> so you go to work and you work your work day. This is my work day. This is what I do. This is my work. So I got it done. You just get it done. Okay. Um, for commenting at my last Facebook Live, we have a winner. And I have these beautiful, elegant, faceted gems. These are so pretty. I love them. For commenting last time, our winner is Claudia Padone from Burton, Michigan. Claudia, these are going to be on their way to you in the mail. And I have all my envelopes ready to roll. So that's a huge thing, too. You know, once I award these, then it's like you got to put the labels on them and get them in the envelopes and do all the things, right? I'm ahead of the game. 
I'm feeling good coming into this. <laughs> Next, we have um, for sharing the video last time I was live, we have some of this beautiful Whale of a Time 6x6 six six designer series paper, and our winner for sharing was Heather Kohler of Menasha, Wisconsin. Heather, this will be on its way to you in the mail this week, so congratulations. Last but not least for placing an order, I have this beautiful Touched My Heart stamp set. This is an exclusive stamp set that is only available when you place a $150 order. And the winner of this for placing an order is Lori Jean Brown. And she is from Massachusetts. So this will be on its way to you, Lori Jean. Congratulations to all of you for winning. Oh my gosh, I'm just looking at my comments coming in here. Okay, and then I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way. Molly, do you want to come see us? Oh, will you bring over the um, owl dies and maybe the designer paper? So one of my lovely team members and customers, Sandra Moren, she sent me a huge pack of stuff that she thought maybe Molly would enjoy. And I think she was cleaning out her stamping scrapbooking stash. And she sent, among other things, we have stickers and all kinds of stuff, but she sent all these owl dies. Come on in, Mom. And a whole big pack of owl paper here, as well as some die cuts and some labels and all kinds of cool stuff. So the first thing that Molly did is she made this card. You want to hold that up? She made this card for Sandra to say thank you for all the goodies. And then we talked about possibly doing a scrapbook album with all of these goodies. So isn't this just adorable? Look at these die cuts. Yeah, so didn't Molly do just a smashing job? Holy cow. Very impressive. So Sandra, if you're watching tonight, you've got a card coming in the mail from Miss Molly. And then while Granny went and took a nap, Molly <laughs> was stamping. And so you want to show them your next card that you made? I made this card. I used the set um, of Whale Done. Whale Done, yep. For this. And then I also used um, Whale done. done for this. And then I was looking through all her die cards. Embossing folders. Embossing folders. Yep. And I found this. And I um I picked out the um this color and then I made a card. Isn't this pretty? Look at how fun that is. I love that embossing folder and she's the whale punch. Yeah, very, very cool, Mal. Show them your other card. I just made this one really fit quickly before because I was kind of thinking of circles and I really like the white and the Bermuda Bay, and so I put those together, and then I... With the Granny Apple Green Caterpillar? Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. She has been having so much fun, and we made Jello, right? Uh-huh. It's, it's almost ready up here. Yep. And Molly was also sick, so she's all better now, too. Thank goodness. So, yeah, we're, we're healing here. <laughs> we're good. Okay, I'm going to let you take these back. Thank you, honey. And Molly's having a sleepover tonight with Granny. Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay, everybody's saying, very nice, Molly. So nice, Molly. Adorable. Good job, honey. Yeah, I, I have a future Stampin' Up! demonstrator next to me. Yes, I do. You know it. Okay, I think we're ready to stamp. Are we ready to stamp? I think I'm ready. Um... We're going to flip the camera around now, and I'm going to show you the um, kit promotion that's going on and let you guys decide if this is something that you want, would be interested in. Hang tight. Now, if you get motion sickness, I don't know why I do not have any comments coming up on my screen, and I do not know what is going on. Huh. Not quite sure why that is. So, hang on guys. Let me see if I can get this here again. 
Like I said, Facebook is doing some very weird things right now, and I'm not really sure why. It won't play my live video on my other Facebook. I've got two windows open here. Now I'm going to go back to this one, and it's not showing me any comments. So I'll see if I can stand up while I'm stamping tonight so I can see your comments coming in. It's acting really stupid. Like, I've had it with Facebook. Let me close all of these down. Leave. And it's still not working right. Okay, I'm not going to keep you any longer. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Everybody, Molly is saying that she loves it. Debbie says, do you have your $1 million trip planned yet? I do not. We are not um, having the trip this year. It is going to be in 2021 due to COVID. You know, COVID is like ruining our life. Um, so there will be no million dollar achiever trips for the rest of this year. But hopefully we can get back to somewhat of a normal life next year and be able to go on the million dollar trip. And I know that Steve and I are very excited about that. So thank you for asking. Okay. Close your eyes if you get motion sickness. We're gonna flip this thing around and da, 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 here we go. Hang on, I gotta get everything set up and straight. I am plugged in. We should not have any problems tonight, but I still cannot see your comments. Oh, so frustrating. I am not quite sure what the deal is. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> I don't know what I just did. I just searched my downloads. Okay, so I'm going to try standing up here. And then I can't see very good because my glasses don't work. All right. Well, we knew this wouldn't go off without a hitch, didn't we? Yeah, everybody's giving me a thumbs up. Oh, and Tanya says Facebook is acting up on her end, too. Okay, so it's not just me. All right, so... First of all, you guys, I have not even put out any advertising about this yet. Like, I was really down and out. Um, we have a whole bunch of new stuff going on. I can't even remember what it is, but this is one of the new promotions that started September 1st, and I still don't even have anything out about it. I will get caught up, I promise, but this is our Get and Go Starter Kit promotion. And with our starter kit, the starter kit is always the best deal in the catalog, hands down, all year long. Because you get to choose $125 worth of product for only $99. You get free shipping on that. You get to choose anything that you want. That then allows you to be a discount shopper or demonstrator, whatever title you prefer. I prefer discount shopper. Most of my team members are discount shoppers. Once you order this kit, you then get to get a 20% discount, minimum 20% discount on everything you order. And during the month of September, you are going to, on top of your $125 for only $99, you're going to get a Queen Anne's Lace stamp set. This is beautiful. Look at those fonts, you guys. It is a two-step stamp set. Plus, the So Much Love stamp set, a pack of rhinestones, and enough cardstock to make, I believe it's 16 cards. So, 4, 8, 12, 16. Yes, four of each of these, I believe. So, you get two, you get card kits, all cut up, packaged just like this, plus the two stamp sets and the rhinestones, you get to choose $125 of any product that you want for only $99 plus free shipping. All of that to, um, oh, it says eight pre-cut paper packs to make eight cards. Okay, so I was wrong about that. It's not 16, it's eight cards. So you get four of this one and four of this one. But um, this is a heck of a deal, and these are beautiful stamp sets. I think I'll be using these, these week, this week just to come up to, with some alternate ideas. You guys know how much I like to do that. Just for joining my team, and then you get to be a discount shopper on my team. And being on my team is a lot of fun, so I hope that you will give that some consideration. 
I think you'll love it. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll try to get advertising out this week. Um, and also a link to my blog where you can learn all about ordering the starter kit. There's a link there where you click on it to go order it. This is a really fabulous, fabulous promotion. Okay, now, like I said, we are going to be playing with plaid tidings this evening. And I've got two different embossing folders to play with. I've got my ink pads. Uh, let's see. Here's my pre-cut cardstock packs. I've got some ribbon. We're going to be using this really fun rectangular postage punch. I have not used this for you guys yet. So this, I, I kind of went about my card for tonight. I wanted to do some Halloween. And I thought, well, I'm going to dig through my Halloween stuff, my new sets that I haven't used yet. And the set that I chose was the Festive Post. And I really like using a stamp set like this that has all these different elements in it because it gives you much more than just Halloween or fall. We also have Christmas in here. We have a little bit of love for Valentine's Day. We have just some all occasion here. I love sets like this. So there's a whole bunch of little elements and what these sets are good for is to use along with other stamp sets. Just the little elements you pull out of here to use with like a suite or a bundle of products. But I decided to kind of stick with this tonight just to show you what you can do with a set that has all these different little elements in it. So, let's see. First of all, we're going to do a Halloween card. And again, I'm using the plaid tidings. This comes in 6x6 designer series paper. Yeah, and Angie said she used the plaid DSP to make mail cards. And yes, these are great masculine plaids. Love these. Oh, Chris says she loves my bracelets. So funny story. Right before I um, went to this funeral, I stopped at the store and bought this. Yeah, so then I was sick. So this is the first time I'm actually wearing this. Thank you very much. I love it too. And it's like got a magnetic. Let me see if I can do it here magnetic clasp on it so when you go to put it on let's see if I can accomplish this it's really pretty easy and you can see that it didn't like just fall off either so thank you very much I love bracelets they're like my favorite okay let's see I've got a couple cards here to share with you whoops I'm losing pieces hang on so first of all I am working with a basic black card base. I've got a whisper white envelope and a piece of the plaid designer series paper. This is two and a half by six. And remember, all of these dimensions for everything that we make tonight can always be found on my blog with still photos and a complete shopping list if you would like to know what color ink did I use, what color is that card stock, um, what are the details about this punch? You can click right on the punch. It'll take you right to my store. Also, right now, this is my current host code. So if your order is under $150, use this code. And um, if it's if your order is over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I want you to have them. And I see somebody just asked how my mom is doing. Oh, Steve is actually Molly tonight. So just so you guys know, Molly is sitting on the other side of the room over here on Steve's iPad. So it's, yeah, so that's Molly, not Steve. Okay, um, then I have another piece of this designer series paper that I cut at four by five and a half. I've got a four by five and a quarter inch whisper white layer. A three-quarter inch strip of just this I cut off the end three-quarter inch strip and then I decided to bring in rich razzleberry because that's one of the coordinating colors and when you have this DSP sampler it's really nice because all the coordinating colors are listed up here and they're also shown over here with a circle punch so I know that rich razzleberry is one of um, the coordinating colors 
And then I've got a scrap of pumpkin pie because that's also in this plaid in here. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take our Memento Black ink pad and let's see, I wish there was a way to leave this stamp set sit out here so you could see it and it didn't glare at you, but unfortunately there is not. So I apologize for that. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the three little broomsticks. Let me get my piercing mat in here. And I am going to stamp on this pumpkin pie scrap. And look, I, I'm a sucker for broomsticks at Halloween. I just always love them. I think they're just stinking adorable. So I'm going to punch these out with my postage punch. That looks pretty good. And now we're going to start doing a few things. Oh, one other thing that I wanted to do here with this rich Razzleberry layer that's two and a half inches, we've got this fun Cobwebs 3D embossing folder. And I am going to run this layer through this folder. And when I do that, this is what it looks like. And isn't this just fabulous? Yeah. Wonderful. Oh, did I answer? Marcia just asked, how's my mom doing? I thought I said that just a minute ago, but maybe I thought I did. My mom is doing really good. She was terribly worried about me. She missed me. She asked me if she needed to come over, and I'm like, oh, my Lord, heavens no. You stay out of this COVID cesspool. <laughs> so mom wanted to come over and take care of her girl, but I wouldn't let her. So um, my mom is doing really well, and in a couple weeks... We start our bear hunting in northern Wisconsin, and I will be spending a lot of time with my mom and Haley and Val and Jared as we head to northern Wisconsin for one of our favorite seasons. So I'll get to spend a lot of time with mom, and she loves that too. It's going to be a ton of fun. Okay, so I'm just going to glue this on here. And I'm centering this right in the middle. Let's see if I can get it straight. Okay. Next, I wanted to bring in, this is our um, glittered organdy ribbon. And this is so pretty with those little flecks of um, silver in there. And I am going to tie this ribbon around here. And I just thought that this would be such a cool look right in the middle of this card. And of course, it's glitzy, kind of like Halloween-y, and I love Halloween. I know some people don't care for it, and that's okay. You can certainly do this card layout in different colors or different patterns with a different stamp set. So always remember that even though it might not be something that you're interested in, you can still take different features from the cards that I make and use them for what is interesting to you. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I just love that. I think that's gorgeous. Now, I'm going to take some dimensionals on my postage stamp here and grab my take your pick tool. Oh, I got my office clean today too, you guys. Did I tell you that? Oh, it was so bad. Like when I'm making kits and I get done, I have to pull everything out of my kitchen and just drag it back here to my office and I just throw it in here. So I had to get all of that cleaned up. What do you guys think? Is that not just cute and easy and simple? Next, I've got this white layer and I wanted to, let's see, what do I have here? I've got wishing you a happy Halloween. Ooh, you know what? I think I wanna do that in Rich Razzleberry. So I don't want to, yep, I'm going to use Rich Razzleberry ink for my inside sentiment. Oh, that turned out good. And then there's also these little tiny bats in here that are super cute. And that's what I love about a stamp set like this if you've got all these little elements in here. Look at that. Let's see if I can get it a little closer. Yay! Okay, then this strip, this would generally just be a scrap left over, right? After I cut my paper for this or for my envelope flap. So I just cut off a three-quarter inch strip 
and I just like to add that to the bottom inside of my card and it just brings that pattern onto the inside it keeps everything coordinating nicely and yeah I still do not have any <laughs> comments on my laptop over there which is just maddening right I don't know why Facebook has to mess with me all the time apparently they don't know who they're dealing with <laughs> I'm just kidding they don't care it's true <laughs> I am absolutely nobody to Facebook. Thank God I have you guys. Okay, now, the other thing that's really cool are these new iridescent pearls. These are so, so pretty. And I just thought these would look nice. Whoops. Couple little pearls on here. And I always do kind of odd numbers. It's not kind of, I always do odd numbers. So I've just got one, two, three. Aren't those cool? Last but not least, we are going to decorate up the flap of this envelope. So I am going to put the matching designer paper on here. Make sure when you order your plaid, plaid tidings designer series paper, get two packs and then you will not feel bad about decorating the flaps. I guarantee it. When I have two packs of paper, then I'm not chintzy with it. If I only have one pack, then I'm afraid, oh, I'll use up that pattern, and then I'll find something that I wanted to make with it, and I won't have it. But if I order two packs, I find that I use way more paper. And even that one that would have sat there uncut, because I know we're paper hoarders, even that one I use. I don't know what it is. It's a mind game. <gasps> Look at how pretty. Isn't that cute? What a cute... Little Halloween card, quick and simple. This is just a classic layout. Now, once I made that one, then I also wanted to try my hand at a different color of the plaid tidings paper, and this is the October 31st stamp that's in the festive post right here. So I made this card, which is the exact same layout, just a different label on the front. And another thing that I thought that would be really cute is to take that 31st and let's see, I'm going to put it so it coordinates over here. So now I've got this envelope right here. Okay. And then with this one, I think what I'll stamp on the front here is my little broomsticks. So look at that. This one goes with this. Decorate your envelopes. Decorate your insides. People really do notice those extra little touches. Okay, so now as long as I was playing with the stamp set, you guys know that I can get on a tangent and go a little bit crazy with things, right? So this is the next thing I came up with. We are going to have a card base that is crumb cake. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And let's see, is this the right card that I, oh no, this isn't the one I wanna do right now, hang on. I'm gonna do this one last, so hang tight. Here we go. I have a cherry cobbler card base that is five and a half by eight and a half. And I chose this pattern of plaid paper. Isn't this black and white cool? Very, very cool. This is very farmhouse. And it's funny because farmhouse is how I am decorating my entire house, pretty much. And so I've been looking at a lot of farmhouse on Pinterest. And this is so very in style right now. Hang on. What's happening? Oh, look at Molly's got my comments. Do you see what's happening over here where I have no comments? Look at it. I have no comments on there. Do you want to take that and set it up right here so I can see it? Okay, so this again is four by five and a half. We're going to take our cherry cobbler and... Oh, now I've got an iPad sitting right there so I can see the comments. I don't know what Let's is going down. on. Yeah, so you guys, I'm going to get a little bit quieter because I'm going to sit down now 
and I know that my volume is going to be a little bit lower, so you may need to turn up the volume on your end. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. Where'd my green go? Oh, I don't have another green. So, oh, oh, here it is. I'm like, oh, I don't know what this is called. This is our Evergreen Forest 3D embossing folder, okay? And this has the most beautiful forest of evergreen trees in it. This is the first time I'm using this. And what I did <clears throat> is I took a two and a half inch piece of garden green. So this is two and a half by five and a half. And I embossed it right at the top of the trees up here, okay? And then this is what it looks like. So we're gonna take this two and a half inch layer and we are going to put it right in the middle of our plaid layer. Just like that. Then we're going to add it to the front of our cherry cobbler card base. Oh, and I have a bunch of mail to show you guys. So for those of you who want to hang around when we're done stamping, I have a whole bunch of beautiful cards that I've gotten in the mail that I'll be able to share with you. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring some of our braided trim in here. And we're going to tie that right over here, just like we did that black glitter ribbon. So I'm basically doing the same layout, only instead of Halloween, we are on to a Christmas card. Okay, let's trim this up just a little bit. Okay, next I've got a scrap of, um, ooh, I see somebody lost someone and I missed that. I'm so sorry for your loss. I just see Lisa replying to Bonnie, yeah. So sorry about that, Bonnie. My heart goes out to you and your family. <clears throat> okay, here we go with the deer. So again, festive post. Here is this little deer and there's some Christmas sayings in here. So I'm gonna take this deer and I'm going to stamp it with early espresso ink. I love this deer. I think it's just really fun and festive, right? Here comes our postage stamp. Punch that out. And do you see my dimensionals, Mom? Hang on. I lost my dimensionals. Here they are. We're going to put a couple dimensionals on the back of here. And... Debbie says she loves the plaids. Oh my gosh, I know, Debbie, right? They're so awesome. Plaids are very, very hot right now. Okay, so here comes our little postage stamp. Look at that. Isn't that super cute? I love the trees in the background. Then we're going to do our inside. And let's see. I got, what did I, I've got Merry Christmas here. So... I think that I will use that shaded spruce. I need garden green. Hang on. Where's my garden green ink pad? Where did you put it? I don't know. I can't find it. Hang on. We can't find the green. You're losing everything today. Yeah, that's pretty typical for me. <laughs> I don't know what happened to my garden green. Hang on. I can't go on without garden green. Whoa. Here's some, here's an old, whoops, here's an old ink pad. I got some garden green. Okay, so here comes my Merry Christmas. I'm going to put that right here. Yay. And then, Merry what else? Christmas. We don't want any bats in there. That won't work, will it? <laughs> that won't work at all. Here comes, again, our little three-quarter inch plaid strip. Ooh. Put that right here. Then we're going to trim that off. 
Oh, um, Angie said it's right next to your black. This is shaded spruce, though. I needed garden green, but thank you. Yeah, I... Was... That was the wrong color. I don't know where my garden green went. I had it out earlier today, so it's here somewhere, as you guys. I just don't oh, know. Oh, right. Frank, you keep... You keep one. Did you pull it over in your stuff at all, Molly? I don't think you no, used green, right? Nope. Okay. I didn't, I didn't even use color. I only used black. Yeah, okay. All right, well, whatever. We got an old one over here. That's why I keep all those old ones, too, right? Yeah. Look at how pretty this is, you guys. Yeah. That plaid with that cherry cobbler is just so striking, isn't it? Okay, now we have some of these wonderful gems. That's what they're called, wonderful gems. And I'm going to take some of these little gold ones, and I'm going to pop them onto my card front. I just always like that little bit, whoops, hang on, little bit of embellishment. Just adds that little extra to your cards, right? Can you see that? Very cute. Okay, last but not least, another two and a half inch piece for our envelope flap. Stick this on here. I really like having this iPad in front of me. Maybe I'm going to have to get my own iPad. I don't even know how to run one. Molly, would you be able to help teach me how to run the iPad? Yes. Molly is like an expert on the iPad. She always comes over and watches YouTube videos on the yeah. iPad. Today, bad? yeah. Today, Molly took her, she's got an easel for drawing and painting. She brought her easel over and she took it out by the pool and started painting um, a canvas of our swimming pool, which is pretty cool. And I've never used that evil easel before and I got it for my birthday. My birthday was in like the beginning of March, so I've mm -hmm. never really used it before. There you go. My first time and me and Papa Rick, I thought to use it like a weird way of like the weirdest way ever, and then Papa showed me how to use it. Oh, you did, you didn't know how, huh? Nope. I okay. like I used the top because there was easel holders for the um for the canvas, and um I did not see those, so I like tried everywhere to put it on top where it holds the canvas. Like well, the top you part. got it because it worked. The wind kept. Okay, going. you guys. Here's our Christmas card. So now we have two Halloween cards, a Christmas card, and then I got off on a tangent because of that embossing folder, okay? So this Evergreen Forest 3D embossing folder. This is Crumb Cake 8.5 by 5.5. I am going to get that done. Let's see, what am I doing here? I gotta think about this a little bit. Oh, okay, I know what I'm doing. Okay. So, then you're going to take a piece of shaded spruce. This is four by five and a quarter, okay? We're going to run this through this evergreen embossing folder, okay? So, I ran it through about right here, and here comes our layer. So, one thing that's really cool about this is there's some trees that are actually more 3D-ish than the trees behind them that are also 3D-ish. So this is just a really, really cool, interesting folder. Okay, <clears throat> so let me think about this a little bit because I didn't actually make this card yet. Oh, I know what I'm doing with this. Um, here we go. Do, do, do. Okay, so on our scrap, we are going to take crumb cake ink and then again with this festive post stamp set, I'm going to do the little, the truck with the um, Christmas tree on top. I'm doing that in crumb cake, okay? And that's where the shade of spruce comes in here. We're going to use that because there's a two-step stamping. The tree has another separate stamp so that... I gotta stick my head over this so I can see what I'm doing here. I think I got it pretty crooked, but the one that I have cut out is fine. So you can do the two-step stamping 
And then we are going to die cut this with the stitched shaped circle. And then I am using some of the brushed metallic gold cardstock and I'm going to die cut this. And then once we've done that, we end up with this. So I'm just going to add my circle to my brushed gold. Just has a little scallop peeking out on the side there like that. And we're going to add our em whoops, embossed layer. Got a little bit of glue on the front there. Right here. There we go. Then I've got some of that um, braided trim. I thought this would just look great. Also, uh, some gold cording would look good here too, but I'm sticking with the braided trim. And I'm just gonna take that over here, tie it on the side. I got quite a few quick and easy cards tonight. I thought that would be a good comeback from the COVID. <laughs> Kelly needed quick and easy for her COVID recovery cards. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, hang on. There we go. Here we go. And then we're going to get some dimensionals here. What did you say, honey? Oh, good. No, that's perfect. Thank you for thinking of that. Okay, here comes. Oh my gosh, look at how cute this is. I'm going to pull this down just a little bit. Just like this. Nah. Okay, look at that. Then, where did those little um, embellishments, here they are. We're going to take some of these wonderful gems, and again, there's gold ones on here. These have little sprinkles of gold in them. And I thought that would go good with the brushed gold cardstock that's under here. And maybe one more right down here. Okay. And then, this is what I'm going to do for the inside. I cut off a quarter inch strip of my metallic brushed gold. I am going to stamp my little Merry Christmas. Where'd my cleaner go? Let me get this cleaned off quick. There we go. And our card is green, so I think I'll stamp my sentiment in the shaded spruce. Yay! Just super cute. Now, anytime you're working with metallic cardstock, you want to be careful and not get glue on the front of it because you guys know if you've done it, it's a bear to get off, right? It looks smudgy, so you just want to be careful that you don't get glue on the front of any type of foil or metallic cardstock. And I just thought this would be so pretty. Isn't that just a little strip of that for the inside of our card is going to make it like so classy. It makes it look like classy but Christmas. Yep, classy but Christmas. And then I think we're going to see what this looks like. Do I have a scrap here somewhere? I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to stamp a tree. Look at how cute that is. We could do something with that too. But what I'm going to do right here is put my Christmas tree right there. And then... Oh, I don't think I have an envelope. i got to get an envelope. Here's our envelope to go with this. And I think I'm going to stamp some of these trees. Just like that. That's going to be my envelope that goes with my cute little card here. Now, let's close these up before I get them all over, right? And 
I'll bring these all back out here so you can see how they're all the same but all very different just because of the designer paper or the embossing folder or all of those things that I use. So, Move out of the way. yep, I'm gonna get this cleaned up. Here we go. Here's our little car. Here is our reindeer card. Here is one of the plaid Halloween cards. Here is the other plaid Halloween card, and these are pretty much, with the exception of this one, and again, I just went off on a tangent with that um, evergreen embossing folder because I loved it on here, but all of these are pretty much the same card using just the festive post, and again, this would generally be a stamp set that you would buy to maybe use the brooms with a Halloween suite that you have, or use the reindeer with a whole sentiment set for Christmas, or the car. All these tiny little elements, and we made full cards with them. So I think that's pretty important in showing that the versatility and the fact that you can make entire cards out of a set just like this one. Right? Yeah. Okay, now you guys know that I always appreciate your orders. It what it's what keeps me in business, keeps me rolling. This is my online ordering button that goes right to my store here. And later tonight, I'm not sure if I'll have the energy to do it tonight or if I'll get it done tomorrow, but I will be posting still photos of all of these cards, their dimensions, and their shopping list so that you will be able to recreate these with ease. I always put dimensions on there too so you don't have to try and go back and find the dimensions and all that stuff. But I will be sharing these on my blog, www.estampabove.com. If you're watching this video later on YouTube, please don't forget to click down in this bottom corner. On YouTube, there's gonna be a subscribe button. I would love to have you subscribed to my YouTube channel also. So now I think what I can do for you guys is I want to show you my mail that I got because I got some beautiful cards to share. So hang tight. Pull this out of the way. So I have some room here. Want to put that lid on that? Yeah. My little helper is standing by to help out Granny. Right, kiddo? Mm -hmm. Darn right. Okay. Here we go. I even swept my floor today in my office. That's crazy. Who does that? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Where's my mail? Over here. So first of all, I have to show this to you guys. This came from Heather Arnold, and it is just the cutest. Look at this. One million dollar granny. She sent me a tear and made me a $1 million granny. I thought this was hysterical. Heather, you are so sweet. Congratulations, you did it. Thank you so much. My million dollar granny. I love it. That is the sweetest. <clears throat> then... Here comes my basket of goodies. Ooh. Now, I have mail that I have not shown you guys that um, I will try and get at next time I come on live. But look at how pretty this is. This card is from Judith Rodriguez, and it's for me reaching my million dollars. This uses the Celebrate Sunflowers. Remember, I have an online class with the Celebrate Sunflowers. Yeah, Molly just ran over and looked because she's got the Celebrate Sunflowers over there today. Then we have this beautiful card from Jen Morgan. This uses the Memories and More card pack. And again, and congratulations on my million dollar sales achievement. Here comes another one. Look at how pretty this is. This is from Barbara Beck. And this uses the Lattice edge technique on here and um yeah she's just sending me a card you gotta teach me how to do that as a kind of a thank you thank you so much barb that is just beautiful 
Next we have, look at this. Oh my goodness. This is from Allison Williams. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And this is again a thank you. Look at how that, look at that. That's pretty. Beautiful, beautiful with those peonies. I love those stackable flowers. They're so elegant. Here we have a birthday card from Ann Tlecky. Isn't that cow hysterical? Yeah, this is a happy birthday. Very, very cool. This uses the boho paper in the background, I think. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the crown on the cow, right? <laughs> Thought that was very appropriate. Okay, now this one is crazy cool. Hang on. This is from... Hang on just a second. Oh, I love the handwriting. Elizabeth Mayer. Look at her handwriting. Look at how perfect it is. She is in Australia. And look at this. Okay, are you guys ready for all of this? Because this is kind of crazy. Ready? I don't even know. Oh, oh, it goes like this. Look at. So it's like a three-part... Isn't that crazy? Look at it, it's all decorated. Yeah, Elizabeth, this is crazy, crazy cool. And it sits up just like that. Oh my Damn. goodness, right? Holy cow. And then it just folds up, goes right in an envelope. Very, very cool. That's, pretty. That's a pretty one. I remember you showed sure me. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, oh, look how pretty this is. This is from, I think it is uh, Pam. Yep, Pam Phillips. Congrats on making your million dollar in sales. Look at how pretty that is. Little pocket card there. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look at how pretty the envelope is. Hang on, I'm having a hot flash. What are you guys drinking tonight? I'm back to my same old, same old, you know, my strawberry lemonade. What do you got in there, Molly? Root beer. Molly's got root beer. Yay. <laughs> we'll have that for breakfast, too, huh? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> this one is from my friend Sue Molden. How pretty is that? I love, love, love this card. And this is for my million also. Thank you so much, Sue. Then we have Karen Drain. I know Karen's watching tonight. Look how cool this card is. Wow, I love that. I love this. Yeah. is really pretty. This is one of my favorite little images, too. Very, very pretty, Karen. Thank you so much. The butterflies. Yeah, the butterflies are pretty. Then we have Wendy Dernbach. Look at how pretty this is. I like this element right here. It really catches my eye. And she won the Artistry Bloom sequence. So she's sending me a thank you card. You are so welcome. Wow. Then we have, oh, you know what, you guys? I just remembered that I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. And nobody called me and interrupt our Facebook Live. So, whew, thank goodness. The stars must be aligned. Look at how cute this is. This is from Karen Braxton. Karen is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, that is from Montana, and I absolutely love the cards that she made. And this was a cheers to you for the million, but look at how this sits up like this. I like... Isn't that cool? Yeah. This I like is, this on... Yeah, the little drink. Look at that. And this is that rainbow shimmer paper. Mm, so pretty. So, yeah, she's congratulating me on my million dollars in sales. Thank you. So, it's not Karen, it's Corinne. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Corinne. Gosh, I was thinking, don't say that wrong, but then I did anyways. Next, look at this pretty envelope. Holy cow. Now, this is from Terry Mullinex. Terry is one of my team members. Look at how pretty that is. Terry had, was cleaning out her stash of stuff. She had an extra set of the Be Mine stitched framelits and asked if she could send them to me to give away. And I told her, of course she could. So, Terry, thank you so much. Somebody will win those. 
Next, I have, oh, here's a little, oh, this is fun. So, this is from Linda Bunce. It says, open at your million. Ah. Here we go. Look at how amazing this oh, is. Goodness. Isn't that pretty? Congratulations. It's a million. Yay! She goes, you deserve every one of them. Linda, thank you so much. You are the sweetest. Linda is one of my, she's on my team, and she is just a joy and a card. You guys know I like funny, right? <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh, Debbie's drinking a whiskey old-fashioned with olives. I am so jealous, Debbie. Maybe I should go out in the garage and have one of those. I'll tell you what, no photos will get taken tonight when I'm done. <laughs> okay, next we have, this is from Bev. Bev Shepke. Bev is my Optavia coach, my health coach, and look at how cool that is. Yeah. So this is again for the million and you know, I've been, I'm hot again, you guys, sorry. Um, I have been, I did lose weight. That's what I'm trying to say. I lost my train of thought. I did lose weight while I was sick. I lost about eight pounds. So, you know, I always say if you're going to be sick, the very least you could get out of it is a little weight loss, right? <laughs> Does anybody else feel like that? Because I am always like, gosh, I hope I lose a little weight. Well, I lost about eight pounds being sick. So um, I put my jeans on yesterday when we went to go look at cars. And I felt like I was rocking those jeans with my eight pounds down. So that was pretty happy. At least I got something out of it. This beautiful card, look at how pretty that is. That is from Cindy Kittner to the woman who does it all with grace and wisdom. I love this stamp set. It says, keep reaching for your dreams. I will keep cheering you on. Congratulations. Cindy, you are just a dear. Thank you so much. That is a beautiful card. I know, isn't that cool? It's like the, it's like the sparkle. Like, it's almost, it's almost like, it's almost like my unicorn. <laughs> I love my unicorn. Magical. The magical unicorn. Okay, this one is from Denise Nibblink. Look at how cute that is. Boop. Oh, look at. Does that come out? What happens? Oh, no it's idea. a it's a tuck. It's a little oh oh, I remember. I really played with this one a lot, Denise. Okay, hang on. Oh, gosh, I knew how to do it. At... I think it just got stuck. She's so excited, but she can't do it. Oh, hang on. I got it. Okay. Ready? It got stuck because it was sitting in a box all this time. So hang on. It worked when I got it. Look at it. It slides back and forth. Boop, boop. Oh, it says pull. Oh, <laughs> There we go. That's why it wouldn't work because Kelly doesn't know how to run it. Look at how cute that is. Oh, it's time like to it celebrate. When you pull it this way. Kick up your heels. Isn't it cute? Yeah. I love this. Thank you so much, Denise. I did have this figured out before. And this was a congratulations on reaching my million. Whoops, I don't want to show everybody. But I love this little zebra, right? Here's another one. This is from Kathy Beck. Kathy has been one of my very, very long time team members. She's been on my team since almost the start. I love the gold. I know, isn't that pretty? This is that brushed pearls. Brushed metallic cardstock. And this is also for my million. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a special day. Right. I know. Everybody loves to celebrate, right? I love that everybody loves to celebrate. This gorgeous card is from Lynn Ingram, and look at how cool that is. Like and it says, one million. Isn't that pretty? You soar above the rest. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Lynn. This is beautiful. Then, here comes a card from Susan Hine. Congratulations. A job well done. You Thank you so much, Susan. You are the sweetest. That's Love that. 
Then we have another really pretty card. This one is from my friend Denise Krieger, thinking of you. Congratulations! Yay! And we have to do lunch. So yes, Denise, we do have to do lunch. And this one is from Debbie Peters. Debbie's watching tonight. She's drinking whiskey old fashions, I might add. <laughs> I often think about how amazing you are. Congratulations, Queen Kelly. Debbie Peters, thank you so much. You are the sweetest. Isn't it? I love that checkered, right? Molly likes the checkers, too. Look at how cool this one is. Oh, the flower. Very, the very flower. pretty, right? Oh. And this one look is, look at the perfect handwriting. This is from Maureen. Maureen, thank you so much. Look at how pretty that is. You did it. Beautiful. Love it, love it. And this one is one of our paper pumpkins. This is from Debbie Foster. Debbie, thank you so much. Debbie is sending a thank you note. For the beautiful card that I sent her. Aww. Oh. You are so welcome, Debbie. Isn't that pretty? Uh, that, I love Galaxy because I'm obsessed with you. Right, ones. right? Galaxy is really pretty. Here we go. Here comes. It's from. This the, is from Kelly Toronto. It's in. Look at how. This is the sunflower sunflower. again. Yep, Molly said this is Celebrate Sunflowers again. My online class with Celebrate Sunflowers was so popular that I actually made up 20 more kits, you guys. It is just spectacular. I Beautiful. Love the inside. So, yeah. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Thank you so much, Kelly. Then we have. Rhonda McGuire, look at this. I love the funny laughing lady in there. And look at that. Oh, exercise? I thought you said accessorize. <laughs> I love that. I love her face. Yep. Mm -hmm. She's all puckered up, isn't she? Yeah. Then we have a Valerie Albanese. Look how pretty this is. Oh, I loved this paper, right? And she is thanking me for the in-color enamel dots that I sent her. You are very flowers. welcome. Yeah, they those are pretty. And here's the dots, right? Yeah. Those are cool. Okay, you guys, I'm getting down to the end of my first pile that I'm going to share with you tonight. This, look at how beautiful this is. This is from Linda Volvasek. And she is sending me a thank you card. And a congratulations on the million. Isn't that pretty? Look at how pretty that is. Absolutely tiny. gorgeous. Yep, and a little tiny a bookmark. That stuff on a tiny little thing. It's a stamp. Isn't that cool? Oh. Very pretty. Thank you so much, Linda. Love the like shininess. I know, right? Oh, look at how pretty <gasps> this is. This is from Lori Schwent. Lori is also one of my team members. Look at how gorgeous that is. This is a set of dies in our new annual catalog. That goes perfect with the navy. And she said, congrats, next, now on to two million. Thank you, Lori. I'm excited. Yeah. Hopefully it won't take me as long to get to two million as it did to get to one, right? Yeah. Now we have Susan Hine. Look at how pretty this is. She did her envelope flap. Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. Love this. I mean, I don't think it would take you too long to get to a million because you're one of the best stampers that I know. Oh. the only one. <laughs> Did you hear that? I'm the best, one of the best stampers she knows. Love it, Mal. Look at how pretty this is. This is from Jean Ewert. Look at that. And she colored the designer paper with Wink of Stella to make those flowers. These are our um, little card packs that are with the Celebrate Sunflowers suite of products. Very, very cool. Last in my little bin here, but not everything that I've received, you guys. So I have another whole bag of cards that I need to share with you, but I'm not going to do it tonight. I just don't want you to think that I didn't get your card if it's in that batch. But this one, look at how pretty this is. This is from Debbie Spicer. Debbie is also one of my team members. And look at how pretty that is. 
Debbie, you did just a smashing job on this. I absolutely Aww. love it. Okay, so that is all the cards that I'm going to share with you tonight. I do have more mail to share with you. And you want to know what I say to all those cards? <laughs> Molly likes my unicorn. Okay, you guys, I'm going to flip you around. This is usually when things go horribly wrong, but we're done now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sweating like a pig. I mean, like, I am drenched. I don't know what's going on, but maybe that's enough for me for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Might look a little crazy. I hop out of bed, brush my teeth, and call it a day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, it has been so fun. I am so glad to be back with you. I miss you guys so much. It was almost like withdrawals. I'm not even kidding. I really, really missed being with you. Thank you again for all of your well wishes and all the prayers and thoughts I say, um, and for our kind of whole family. We are all <laughs> like, you know, we can get it again. That's not fair. So, hope you guys have a wonderful week. Um, I'm not sure what's going on this week. I am going to be taking it easy. Obviously, something's going on. Like, I'm drenched. I don't know if this is just a hot flesh or not. I'm sure it is. Anyhow, <laughs> um, I am going to be taking it easy this week. I do have some new online classes that are going to be in September. I need to get my advertising out. I haven't sent a newsletter out in forever. There's all the behind-the-scenes things that need to happen also. So um, I will be back next Sunday, which is the 13th. And then the two weekends after that are iffy. But if I'm not able to be back in time on Sunday nights on the 20th and the 27th, I will probably move my Facebook Live to Monday night instead of Sunday night for those two weeks because that's where our um, hunting season starts in northern Wisconsin. So, you guys, thanks for joining me tonight. Please don't forget to click on that share button. Sharing is caring. Also, don't forget to leave a comment, and if you um, place an order, use my host code. I will post my links for my online class in just a few minutes if I can get my Facebook to work right. Yeah. And um, uh, pictures for these cards will be coming either tonight or tomorrow morning on my blog. So just watch for those if you have any questions or details. If you guys need anything, you know where to find me. Find me at Kelly at the is the best way to get an answer from me because there's too many things. There's too many places. There's Facebook Messenger. There's messages on my Facebook page. That's the least place to get an answer from me. I do go through and read them, but only when I get some spare time. So just know that um, if you need an answer to something, email me, Kelly at a stamp And again, thank you. I always appreciate your orders. Can't wait to stamp with you again. Have yourselves a wonderful Labor Day tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.